So is this a particular type of, is there a name for this type of weaving that you're doing? It's uh, just a tule duck, and it's called something, but I don't know what it's called. It's just a twist. That's all it is, is just a twist. It's a weaving. And what type of material is that? Tules. Tules? Or bulrush is what the scientific name is. It grows in lakes and rivers all over. And did you, uh, you didn't make these canoes too, did you? Uh, well, I've been working on this one for five years. Oh, you have? A guy named George Blake came up from Hoopa, California, made both of these. They both came out of the same log. They're sisters. That one weighs about 250. This one weighs about 800 or 700 pounds. I think I got it down now, too. Um, they both came out of the same chunk of redwood. It's over 300 years old. We found, we found it at Silcoos Outlet in Florence. Wow. Is that where you're from? or? Yeah, I live in Florence. And um, have you actually put these in the water yet? or? Oh yeah, we race tomorrow. Tomorrow's oh, the race. Tomorrow up here? Yep. Oh. We go from Foster Bar to Foster Creek and back. We race up river. And I won last year. I gotta rub it in. <laughs> Victor, yeah. Victor's gonna try to win this year. Supposed to be a hole here, a hole here, and you strap it together with a root in case you hit a rock in the middle of the river. And that makes it the nose, the eyes, here's the lungs, and here's the heart, and then you got kidneys and the butt, which he said calling the seat. So he said treat it as a living, as a living thing. So both of them have hearts, both of them are almost made identical. And they are we've we've actually had uh, I can't remember how many four or five people in here, we've completely submerged it in water and we still couldn't flip it over. It still wouldn't roll over. All right, I got a couple of young so ladies. You said you've been that working out for five years. On, is, is, is there ever, ever going to be finished? Or? If I ever get it down to about an inch thick, hey, it'd really be nice. Two inches would be good. Buffalo and what do you use to carve it out with? Um, and ads and a, an old gouge that I found. And Reebok moccasins. I use ship ads. We usually take it to the Salila Festival and export every year, which happens to be the same weekend as this. Time to and I usually let shout. the kids work on it. A little but bounce in that step. This year, everything kind of Had changed. an elder out there. He was dancing pretty good. Him cool. What's your name? Doug Barrett. Probably Doug daughter. Barrett? Yeah, I'm a Nephew, member of the Confederated cousin. Tribes of Kuslo, Rumquan, Sayusla Indians. I'm a Sayusla tribal member. Relative. Awesome. Next Thank door you so neighbor. much. Uh-huh. See what's going on here? I'm kind of losing it. Because I pulled it really tight, so it's kind of pulling these babies down. All right. All right? You understand all that? Where's that darn tailor at? Yeah. Dry out, you can feel when it dries out. Maybe you're not out there dancing.
Alright, thank you, Hannah. Give a big hand for Hannah out there by herself. Looking good.